When there is the chance to make a choice, make one that you know you won't regret. What kind of a life would I have lived if I didn't choose to board the express? No, there's no such possibility. They may sound annoyed, but their body language is more honest. I should visit Pom Pom more often. My weapon is also one of the curios of the space station. I don't know where it came from, but it must be important if it appeals to Madame Herta. Just where did the will of destruction come from? Was it really because of the Stellaron within me? Just like me, the people of Bellabug are also seeing the native sky of this planet for the first time. The seed of preservation has always been within Bellabog, and I simply reignited this city's will to live. That will may be weak, but this was not the time for it to go out. Chiang, Lieutenant of the Lawfu Cloud Knights, reporting in. If you have some free time, would you mind sparring with me? <laughs> Don't worry, I won't go easy on you. What kind of sword training will you do today? Do you wish for me to accompany you? The sword needs to return to its scabbard. See you tomorrow, teacher. There are no more fitting opponents for me on the Lawfu, but out there among the stars, there may be someone yet. I can talk all day about swords made by the Artisanship Commission. I always buy two swords per model, one for the battlefield and one for my collection. But my allowances might run a bit short by the end of the month. I'm sure the General will buy me food and things if I nag him a bit. Not having the title of Sword Champion just means my skills still need sharpening. But the General said I don't need more skills, just more time. <sighs> How exactly am I worse than that sword champion? After buying a new sword, I would spend even more effort on the scabbard. Should the body be made of black pear wood or silk? Should the locket and the carrying ring be dragon or tiger shaped? And the shape, the decorative plaque, <sighs> it's great fun deciding on each piece. Sometimes I find multiple good sheets for a new sword and I end up buying them all. And yet one sword can only use one sheet. What can one do after one has made history? I once asked the general this question, but he said he can't answer it because he never wanted to be a general, and that I should try to answer it myself. Hmm. Like the other Sien Joe ships, the La Fu also holds the Stellar Martial Competition to test the strength of the Cloud Knights, and whoever wins the sword competition receives the title of Sword Champion. The general has no need to show his martial prowess with me around. Since he acknowledges my strength, I need to help shoulder his burdens that much more. Ting Yun would ask me to write introductory pieces for blades when her codex on goods contains a section on them. Su Shang has a good sword, but a good sword is not always an easy to use sword. One needs to apply 10 times more power to make it perform just one tenth better. I visited the Skyfaring Commission once and saw Madame Yukong staring alone at the leather target for a long time. She didn't fire a single arrow that day, but perhaps she did shoot thousands in her mind. So, Diviner Fu wants to be the general. Well, firstly, she needs to fix the issue where everyone just wants to nap as soon as she starts to talk. At first, I thought he always fights using that sword casket. That thing looks really strange. Mm, I need to figure out a way to fight him and get him to use his skills for real. This is my original appearance. That of the Vidyatara. Don't worry. I'm still Dan Hung, a descendant of the Vidyatara, and also a member of the Nameless. As recorded in the databank, it is customary among the Vidyatara to place one's hand on one's forehead when greeting someone. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, we don't need to do that. It's getting late. I won't be staying up much longer. Um, sleep well. My previous life is like a faint shadow. 
hardly visible, yet following me wherever I go. It's hard to describe the feeling, but one thing is for certain. I am nobody's shadow. The eternal banishment decree was like a pardon for me. After all, I'm here now, aren't I? There's unfinished business between me and the maker of this weapon. Well, during my days in the shackling prison, reading books was my only respite from the long hours and the shadows of the past. I have no interest in commenting on the deeds and sins of Imbiber de Lunay. Given the choice, I would like to cast his name aside. Even so, the consequences of his power will be borne by me alone. The Vidyadra that reside on the Xianzhou received a blessing from the Permanence, our dragon ancestor. On the Lofu, we wield a magic known as Cloud Him that allows us to manipulate water and control the rains. The Ambrosial Arbor was severed long ago, but it is not dead. If there's any activity from the denizens of abundance, it will be connected to the arbor. <laughs> Sometimes the general treats me as a friend from the old days. Unfortunately, I am unable to return the sentiment. Uh, the High Elder succession was incomplete, causing her to become trapped in shallow waters. Fortunately, she has a uh, vitality that does not bend to the will of others. That young swordmaster has a keen eye and a swift hand, but I've no desire to compete with anyone in a sword fight. What he seeks, I am unable to provide. I should reintroduce myself. My name is Don Hunk. I'm the guard on the Express. I also administer the train's databank. I updated the databank entries today, if you wanted to look anything up. Hmm. Time to turn in already? Thanks for the reminder. It's easy to lose track of time in the archives. Before you know it, a whole day has gone by. See you tomorrow. I come from an alliance, and was born on a grand and beautiful ship that I barely had the chance to see. I can never return. <laughs> At that time, I had nowhere to go but the Express. Cloud Piercer is always with me, for my safety and the safety of everyone else. It's not really a hobby, but I used to read a lot. If you're not there to look something up, then please don't enter the archives. <sighs> It's not a place for chit-chat. As vast as the universe is, it cannot change its past. Once there are sufficient records in the databank, the flow of individuals will link together seemingly independent events. March's weakness is that she likes to get involved in other people's business. Perhaps that's also her strength. If you have questions about the Express, Himiko can give you the best answer. Mr. Yang is a very compassionate person, but thankfully, he doesn't pry. My intuition tells me that it would be unwise to provoke the conductor. Sergeyevna, Silvermane Guard's intelligence officer at your service. Uh, you can call me Pela. You ready? Let's start the records for the day. The reports look pretty normal today. You can go have some rest. I'm good at documenting information and coming up with my analysis. Acting on that analysis is the captain's job. People don't usually notice the drummer, but if you miss a beat, Everyone feels it. I like the challenge. I like to go to the library on the weekend and take out some... Uh, <clears throat> literature. 
And then when we're finished reading, me and my friends meet up to discuss it. <sighs> Sometimes I practice over a dozen times before reporting to my superiors, but I still can't get it right. There are 32 versions of my full name circulating among the troops. How do I know? <laughs> I'm an intelligence officer, after all. <gasps> a new edition of the fanbook Tale of the Winterlands? That's one of the most sought-after series out there! Uh, how many copies should I get? Uh, ten? Is ten enough? In all of Bellabog, you won't find anyone who speaks more elegantly or acts more like a leader than Lady Branya. <sighs> Serval's rule is no rules. Captain Japard is an honorable man and very reliable. But when it comes to his horticultural skills, all I can say is I respect his effort and wish him the best of luck. Oh, Linksy is one of my... Uh, Lynx is one of my... Uh, uh, <clears throat> Lynx is one of Bellabog's number one researchers and one of my best besties. Hey, you know, with Sampo Kusky by your side, you got a businessman, chaperone, and problem-solving conversationalist all rolled into one. Pretty sweet deal, huh? So, what's the job this time around? If you got the cash, I got the... No cash? <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> Just say the word, pal. Come on, get some rest already. What's the matter? I'm not going anywhere. Me? I'm just an easygoing fellow that looks out for the little guy, free of charge, I might add, who somehow gets pulled into everyone else's business with nothing to show for it. Sheesh. Like I say, I'm an easygoing fella. If you package it right, you can sell the same piece of intel to different people. That, my friend, is called maximizing your profit. I'm a firm believer in small talk brings big clients. I sell things that buyers want to buy, and they call me a con man. It's outrageous. You think in a place as isolated as Bellabog, people would be more willing to share what they have. Well, it's the exact opposite, and I'm more than happy to make up the shortfall. <laughs> Come on, how did you guys end up in the middle of the snow plains? UFO? Let me guess, you took a train, huh? <laughs> Seriously, though. Back when I first arrived in the underworld, I used to bring Natasha the medicines she needed. I did that for a while, and before long it was medicines and intel. You know how these things work. Oh, if anyone out there ever managed to strike a deal with Svarog, They'd earn my heartfelt admiration. Our little girl in red is truly impressive. How did she get that giant tin head to listen to her? If she had it her way, Ms. Zila would spend less time yelling at me and more time actively trying to hit me. Can someone explain what I did to deserve her? Oh, we see each other pretty often. Usually it's me running away and him running after me. Gotta say, I'm gradually beginning to enjoy the attention. <laughs> we used to be good pals, but now, let's just say her brother put in a bad word for me. My only wish is to get acquainted with the Supreme Guardian-to-be. Any introduction will do, even a painful one. Have you seen him compete? A lot of underworlders made a lot of money off that kid. <sighs> Your pal Sampo here wasn't one of them. Hello, guest from the Astral Express. I am Yu Kong from the Lawfu Skyfaring Commission. Welcome to the Xianzhou. <laughs> it's a good day to set sail, isn't it? The Sea of Stars is vast, and our journeys are difficult and long. Please look after yourself, no matter where you are. 
I have worked in every post in the Skyfaring Commission, from maintenance to pilot, combat reserves to stargazer. Such a long time has gone by so quickly. A full, complete flight can only be considered as such when it starts with a successful takeoff and ends with a good landing. The past and present of the Skyfaring Commission do not have such a simple relationship. The events of the past crafted its current greatness. <laughs> I like to watch the clouds. I mean, the changing nebulas. The Skyfaring Commission governs the area around the Sienjo, but we are merely momentary traces that quickly disappear in the sky. The nebulas are the true masters of the heavens. Compared to the skies and the stars, our lives are as brief as fleeting insects. <sighs> How I wish I can witness the day that the Sienjo truly returns in triumph. The Skyfaring Commission went toe-to-toe -to -toe 12 times against the Plague's author in the past. Three times we were nearly wiped out, but each time we rose up from the ashes and rebuilt. I have seen the last ray of light right before a sun dies, and the pulsing volcanic veins akin to flesh and blood on planets brought to life. I've seen the Lux Arrow of the Rainbow Arbiter flying to places light years away, and the Rainbow Memory Bubble of the Glow Swather bursting within flames. The General may behave slovenly, but he has plans for all the affairs of the Sienjo. A sword will vibrate and beg to be unsheathed if it is unused for too long. But once unsheathed, it will either paint the battlefield in blood, or break itself in the process. The Sienjo need brawny warriors with their swords and spears, as well as unpredictable waters like her who travels freely and unrestrained. She is indeed reckless, but she is also passionate and eager. <laughs> Don't underestimate her. Youth can accomplish a lot simply by relying on such energy. Though Bailu has been worshipped as the High Elder since birth and had no say in this, her title of Healer Lady was indeed gained from her expert practice of medicine. You should not mention this name. It has been a forbidden word for a long time. I have delivered the missive about the meeting. Do you have any questions, Master Dan Hung? I know all that I wish to know. Thank you, Miss Huan Xi. You need not address me as Miss. I am but one of Miss Bailu's maids. Then again, if I may be so bold as to make a humble request. Uh, go ahead. Before this goes ahead, oh, who might this be? Sorry, but Sienjo's street lamps aren't in the habit of eavesdropping on conversations. I'm speaking with Master Don Hung. I'm afraid this doesn't involve you. Please take your leave. She is a close friend. I've invited her along to bear witness. Please, treat her as you would me. Now, what was your request? <laughs> Then I hope you don't plan on meeting with Miss Bailu. Bailu is 
is simple and innocent, incapable of ill intent. It's natural for a servant to care for her master and share in her worries. Please, hear what I have to say. I have good reason to be concerned. Perhaps you should know that Miss Bailu's path to becoming a High Elder was neither in compliance with proper protocol, nor of her own volition. Everything was a result of the stubbornness of her predecessor, Don Feng. His hubris and tyranny brought about the end of the Lafu's High Elder Secession. The preceptors heard of Master Don Hong's return, and were uncertain whether it constituted good or ill fortune. However, many have surmised that the Lafu's High Elder Secession tradition will soon be back in force. If true, that is indeed something we're celebrating. Whether we find another suitable candidate in accordance with the laws of our people, or have you take up the position anew, everything can still be mended. But, if Master Don Hung were to hand everything over to Miss Bai Lu, it could lead to great upheavals on the horizon. No good would come of it for her. <sighs> Miss Bai Lu is young, naive, and easily manipulated by others. I worry that under the pressure of others, she would be convinced into taking up too great a burden. I understand your concern, but I have nothing more to say on the matter at present. Then I will bid my farewell. Master Don Hung, whether you choose to meet Miss Bailu or go with me to see the Preceptor Elders, I will be waiting for you by the ferry leading to Scale Gorge Waterscape. <laughs> I haven't even set eyes on Bailu, and people are already urging me not to meet her. <laughs> You've been spending too much time with March. You know that I'm a descendant of the Lofu Vidyatara. In Scale Gorge Waterscape, you witnessed my secret strength, as March would call it. Yet that power stems from Don Feng, my previous incarnation. He altered the process of High Elder succession, plunging everything into catastrophe. Ultimately, he suffered the punishment of molting rebirth. Based on the physiological principles of Vidyadhara reincarnation, I ought to have been an entirely new entity. And, in view of the law, all crimes from my previous incarnation should have been wiped clean. But in reality, I was locked up in the shackling prison at birth. Even after I was released and left the Xianzhou, my High Elder past and Don Feng's enemies pursued me like a haunting shadow. Now, I plan to face that shadow. In order to make amends, I want to repair the Ambrosial Arbor seal and visit the High Elder to see what more I can do. The Star Skiff is ready. Let's go. The Ambrosial Arbor. It's humongous. I don't believe Need your extractor clean to your... The rumors are true. You really are back. I'm Hila Lu Ying of the Alchemy Commission. I'm a Vidyadara too, as you can see. I'd heard the reincarnation of the Great Sinner has returned to the Lafu and wanted to offer some advice. Oh? Leave this troubled place immediately. Certainly. Miss Bai Lu has weathered nothing but criticism since she was granted the title. But the Alchemy Commission firmly believes that girl to be a precious diamond in the rough. She is compassionate, kind, and a hundred times better than Don Fang. Moreover, Don Fang selected her as High Elder, making her the leader of the La Fu Vidyadara. Fate chose her as our sovereign, and we bowed down before that destiny. Now that you're back, everything has changed. The preceptors are starting to think of finding other candidates. 
which means nothing but trouble for Miss Bai Lu. Uh, I have no intention of threatening Bai Lu's position. You may have a clear conscience, but even so, as long as you remain on the La Fu, invisible forces will try to coerce you. Leave now. It is the best outcome for everyone involved. Do not repeat the mistakes of a past life in this one. Farewell. Excuse me. Are you two on your way to the Alchemy Commission, Delph? Hello. What brings you two here? The wind and waves are restless around lunar rescent depths today. Uh, even you came to dissuade me from visiting the High Elder, General? <laughs> this encounter was not of my making. I've been recuperating in the Alchemy Commission under the Dragon Lady's care. Our paths have nearly crossed. But your question would suggest that there are others interested in dissuading you from such a venture. Matters that concern the rise and fall of the Vidyadura will inevitably attract certain parties, those that would work circumstances to their advantage, be it Don Fong, the Preceptors, or the Alchemy Commission that trained the Dragon Lady. Your injury hasn't dulled your instincts, General. The Preceptors and the Commission seem deeply concerned. A chance meeting is a gift from fate. Why don't I help you to fathom their intent, then? It is an internal affair of the Bidiaroras. As long as it does not disturb the peace aboard the Lafu, it does not involve the General of the Cloud Knights. Nevertheless, as a friend, let me remind you of one thing. So long as Don Hong and Bai Lu, with their respective High Elder powers and titles, both remain on the Law Fu, the Vidyatara will never cease their internal strife. This is not to say that either of you are to blame. It's getting late. You are headed to repair the Arbor Seal at Scale Gorge Waterscape and visit the High Elder, no? <laughs> Farewell for now. I should start taking this business of rest and recuperation a little more seriously.
trickier to crack. Touch for fun. <laughs> Do it again when you're leveled up. Master Don Hung, you're back. Have you made your decision? Will you come with me to meet with the elders first? Or are you set on seeing Miss Bailu? Miss Bailu is already waiting at Scale Gorge Waterscape. Your stubbornness is redolent of your previous incarnation. Sorry, but you're not going anywhere. A criminal who destroyed our succession is unworthy of setting foot in the sacred places of the Vidyanara. Wait, 
Master Don Hong's presence at Scale Gorge Waterscape has been approved by the six charioteers and the preceptors. He is no longer the criminal he once was. <sighs> Empty rhetoric. There are ways of unearthing his true identity. And even his reincarnation should answer for the monstrous crimes of the past. The Vidyatara will never accept him. <sighs> Beyond recognition. As I expected, Don Fung, you have returned. for rescuing me, Master Don Hung. They came for me. I... I'm sorry you got dragged into it. It's risky to remain here. We should leave. Master Don Hung, after your meeting, will you go with me to see the elders? <sighs> should I ever want to meet the preceptors, Miss Huan Si, I'll ask you to pass on the message. <sighs> I understand. Please alight, Your Highness. Miss Bailu awaits you at Dragon Vista Rain Hall. It could be dangerous ahead. We should proceed carefully. of Master Don Hong and his friends were too much for them. There are those that wish to assassinate Master Don Hong, miss. Presumably to preserve your legitimacy as High Elder. Huh. I don't care about my legitimacy. Why do they? I told you, whoever wants to be the High Elder is welcome. I never wanted the title. I am Don Hong. It is an honor to meet you, Miss Bai Lu. You're Dan Hung? I heard about how you parted the ancient sea and scale board's water scheme. <laughs> These assassins have got their work cut out for them. 
Miss Bailu, please don't say things like that. Look at you. Dragon horns. Well, they say you're Danfeng's reincarnation. I suppose it must be true then. But you're different from me. Where's your tail? Uh, mm. Hmm. If I let you be high elder, will you grow a tail? Uh, about the high elder succession. I have no intention of getting entangled in that. I'm here to repair the Ambrosial Arbor seal. This is the duty of the lawful Vidyatara. Oh, really? Then why'd you come to see me? All I've learned since my hatching beaver for some medical skills at the Alchemy Commission. I can't repair seals or part the sea like you can. I should take this opportunity to talk with you about the past, Miss Bailu. I've heard about your situation, and while I can't guarantee a solution, I will do my best to improve things for you. Hmm. Interesting. You're not like other grown-ups. You say what you think, and you seem trustworthy. So, you want me to go with you to Scale Gorge Waterscape? Precisely. Let's go then. <sighs> Miss Bailu. Wanshi, please wait here for me. I'll come back as soon as I can. I've got these two to look after me. <laughs> Don't worry. Forming a seal and using their power to curb the spread of the Arbor's roots is an important task entrusted to the Lo Fu's High Elder. <laughs> News to me! The Elders must be well aware that I'm not qualified for this position. Which begs the question, why did Dan Feng choose me all those years ago? That's exactly what I've come to Scale Gorge Waterscape to find out. Among the Vidyatara, the High Elder is the existence closest to the permanence. According to historical records, the High Elder succession involves a secret ritual known as the Transmutation Arcanum, as well as a treasure known as Dragonheart. Once succession is complete, the former High Elder undergoes a hatching rebirth, while the new High Elder begins to display draconic features. However, Don Feng's ritual failed, and his powers remained within me. And if for some reason, it also created you. So, in medical terms, he messed up the prescription. And brought suffering down on himself and just about everyone else in the process. I want to use this opportunity to repair the Ambrosial Arbor seal. And see if I can help recall our memories. Shun the tree's growth, the residual plague water of the ancient sea. Upon the High Elder's command, subdue the eternal roots. Strange. This is different from the breaking of the seal. Why is there no reaction? What's wrong? I'm not going to plan, huh? Shun the tree's growth. The residual plague. Shun the tree's growth. The residual plague. Water of the ancient sea, upon the High Elder's command, subdue the eternal roots! This feeling... Th that's it! You did it! This alone should prove to everyone that you are the true High Elder. When the seal was re-established, did you recall anything? It was like a tide surging through my mind. I became really, really huge and the whole of Scale Gorge Waterscape was responding to my voice, resonating with me. <laughs> That's fun! Danhong, teach me another trick. Let's see if I can remember anything else. <laughs> Wait. Can you feel it? There's someone coming. 
You! Who are you? Protect by Lu! Double speed. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> we are not going anywhere. Next time. They may have used a cloud him to create mist and provide a smoke screen. Uh, I'm afraid this ambush was probably lying in wait for us. <sighs> Seems like some people have had enough of my presence. Mm. We don't know how many there are. Let's get out of here. Go! These floating shadows are called Mirage Echoes. They are memories of past lives and echoes from the past that the Vidyatara shed during their rebirth. The books say that these mirages only speak to people they can recognize, and the water on their bodies can be used as medicine. <laughs> Seems this mirage mistook me for Don Fung. There's no mistake. This old man would recognize your voice anyway. Have you come to this sacred place to repent? The proud son of the Vidyatara, hero of the High Cloud Quintet. <laughs> you fought with this your whole life. How far you have fallen. You availed yourself of the transmutation arcanum to summon that draconic abomination. And almost laid waste to scale Gorge Waterscape in the process. If your allies hadn't united to slay it, then the abomination would have destroyed the Ambrosial Harbor Seal. Tell me, did it sadden you to watch the abomination perish? As the High Elder, you should have freed us from the plight of rebirth and set foot on a brand new path. But instead, you were seduced by your reputation and abandoned yourself. You counted the Anjo natives and even short life species among your friends. The upcoming trial is your final chance. Hand over the secrets of the Transmutation Arcanum now, and the Preceptors can help you keep your secrets. Our laws could have seen you executed. Pity that the High Elder Succession could not be allowed to die with you. Kylorum Venti of the Yao Qing put forward a strong case for you, and the Ten Lords Commission spared you from capital punishment. But the punishment of molting rebirth could not be avoided. Elder, look around you. You've long since reincarnated. What remains here are just the mirages of the waters of the ancient sea. Impossible. I still live! The High Elder Succession will not be severed in this generation. I don't like this mirage echo. He thought that the Vidyatara was superior to other races, and that he was superior to other Vidyatara. <laughs> As if the Vidyatara would never progress without their plans. I guess Danfeng probably never told them the secret of the transmutation Arcanum. We shouldn't linger here. The assassins are using skilled cloud hymn magic to make themselves invisible. <sighs> but their presence is all too real. These mirage echoes, on the other hand, are vestiges of the past. 
If we can center and transmit the echoes, we should be able to detect any assassins hidden beneath the surface of the water. Let's look for mirage echoes and send out pulses. Move carefully.
created a new life. This is the hope that will one day allow the Vidyatara to reproduce. My understanding of reproduction was limited by ordinary notions. How constrained I was. Why should Vidyatara reproduction remain trapped within the confines of our race to unearth the potential might of long blood and incorporate other races into the flesh of the dragon? Isn't that the real meaning behind the transmutation arcanum? The preceptors are too narrow-minded to see your talent. They want to install another high elder. <laughs> Foolish. What does she mean by that? The transmutation arcanum seems to contain a secret that allows the Vidyatara to escape the cycle of reincarnation and return to normal reproduction. <sighs> but the mechanism eludes me. Let's go. stripped from the lives of the Vidyatara. I have never believed in the high. You are unworthy of the condemnation you suspect. Especially you, Miss Bion. You simply do not have the power of the High Elder, the power to summon the forces of nature. Why should I believe you are superior in any way to Master Don Fon? The priests, our people, they think the High Elder is the Vidyatara's only thing. Illogical. Have you seen what merciful medicines can do? Precisely. Merciful medicines will help us to grow our population and bear descent. They can do what the High Elder cannot. One day you will come to know that I was right. I never knew the Vidyatara had believers in the plagues author among their ranks. Joining the Cloud Knights. 
but you betrayed the hopes and dreams of the elders. This Mirage Echo, he must be a Cloud Knight who fought alongside Don Fung all those years ago. How many of us perished in that disaster and could not be reincarnated? And I, my leg was torn off by that abomination. Oh, you me. The doctors at the Alchemy Commission said I have to reincarnate as soon as possible to avoid affecting my mortal life. But my poor comrades have no chance of returning to the ancient sea. You once told us that we should cherish every life cycle and that you would use cloud and magic to heal our wounds. But in the end, all you did was betray us. I must listen to him very carefully. We cannot afford to miss any information. I will never forgive you. The High Elder's power belongs to the Vidyadara of the Lawfu. You are unworthy. The Vidyadara must not sever the High Elder succession tradition just because of you. Hand it over. Dunho, is this the price we pay for bearing the power of the High Elder? Carrying the weight of all these expectations, all this hatred. Before any of this transpires, you have enough time to prepare. This is 
double speed. place like Scale Gorge Waterscape and pursuing you? Rest assured, Miss Bailu, I'll report them to the Elders and round them all up. Fortunately, the three of you were blessed by the gods. If anything had happened to you, it would have been a dereliction of duty on my part. Assassins. None of us mentioned that the danger involved assassins. How did you know that? Oh, it's because we were already attacked at the ferry, no? I was just worried that those people would try and attack you again. You said those assassins only came from Mr. Dun Hung. But the ones we met in the ruins were coming from me instead. <laughs> Perhaps the real dereliction of duty was that not enough happened to you. <sighs> so, did the Elder send you to take out the unworthy High Elder? <laughs> That was my idea alone. How could the Preceptors have come up with that? From my perspective, the Vidyatara requires only one High Elder. A second High Elder, one who is weak and useless, must be removed. Miss Bailu, our relationship as mistress and maid ends here. Farewell. Oh. 
reinforcements. Time for the master stroke. I am the reinforcements. Radiant spirit, heed my word. Show no mercy! I sense a storm. World cleansing track. Here, the thunder. Let me tend your wounds. Lance ablaze. No time to lose. Come with me. Need a doctor? <laughs> time to squash it. Your prescription. Do not fret. I'm on guard. Follow my charge. Ready. Search. Break. A foregone conclusion. Awaken through its scales. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> hm. Time for them. Show no mercy. Receptors truly believe that nobody knew of their scheme. They should return to their senses. Attacking the Dragon Lady only destroys with little prestige. They have remaining. <laughs> the whole thing was planned by me and me alone. Beware of false charges, General. Save your breath. We all know the truth once the Cloud Knights send you to the Ten Lords Commission's judges. <laughs> Too late, Jing Yuan. I go no further. I always felt useless in the eyes of the elders. A false dragon who failed to inherit the power of the High Elder. And today I realize they'll use any means of removing me. Not all of the Vidyadra harbor evil intentions. If you feel uneasy, Dragon, the Seat of Divine Foresight can arrange for you to stay elsewhere. Thank you, General. I'd like to talk more with Danhung first. Very well. I will await all of you at the fair. The Vidyadara have neither parents nor family members. One sport, the teacher is assigned to instruct the young Vidyadara in the art of Cloudhim, as well as various life skills. Dunho, did you have a teacher like that? If you're asking about Vidyadara tradition, I'm afraid that's something I never had any experience of. I've always been a wanderer. I... I can never return to my homeland. In my fragmented dreams, I meet enemies on the battlefield. But, in my travels, I meet many people who I can describe with the word teacher. As far back as I can remember, I've had the preceptors and alchemy commission healers telling me what to do. Cure diseases, save lives. I don't know if that counts as teaching. 
You know something? It feels like you're the teacher I've been waiting for. Virtuous in the past life, master in the next life. Perhaps we were friends or disciples in our previous incarnations. <laughs> A friend or disciple of Dan Feng? Maybe, Miss Bai Lu. At first, I was worried that your title of High Elder was in name only, and that an absence of true power would eventually put you in grave danger. <laughs> it seems I was overthinking things. You have no shortage of true power. You mean the power to repair the seal? The power you taught me? The Mirage Echoes of Scalebridge Waterscape mentioned that not only was Don Feng a brave warrior, he could heal others with cloud hymn magic. What you have is the power of the High Elder that belongs to you. The power of life that can reforge the Arbor Seal and the vitality of the Eternal Roots. <laughs> it is a world away from my power of destruction. Hmm. In that case, Dunfung probably had a gentle side to him too, right? <laughs> Perhaps. Hmm. We should head back to the healer's market. I have other things to do today. Let's go! Now that the seal is repaired, my affairs on the Xianzhou have drawn to an end. Uh, for the time being. Are you planning on staying on the Law Fu? The banishment decree has been revoked, and the preceptors have regained an awareness of the situation. This is your chance to return to your home. As a nameless... <laughs> The Express still needs me. Ah, that is a pity. 